The dream of interstellar travel has captivated humanity for generations. Fueled by science fiction and our insatiable curiosity about what lies beyond the stars. Yet for all our technological advances and lofty aspirations, there is an inescapable truth. Being human fundamentally makes interstellar travel destined to fail. The cold, harsh realities of the universe are not just indifferent to biological life, but outright lethal to it. Our fragile, delicate bodies are designed for one specific environment, Earth. And every step we take into the cosmos is a fight against forces that far exceed our capacity to endure. Earth provides us with everything we need to exist, breathable air, drinkable water, gravity that holds our bodies together, and a protective atmosphere that shields us from radiation and meteorites. It's a cradle finely tuned for our survival, and we are inseparably linked to its unique conditions. Remove us from this sanctuary, and our vulnerabilities are laid bare. A single cut, no more than a centimeter deep, can lead to infection and death if untreated. Imagine that fragility multiplied in the vacuum of space, where there is no oxygen to breathe, no atmospheric pressure to keep bodily fluids in their proper state, and radiation levels that can shred DNA in moments. Space does not care about our ingenuity or dreams. It's a realm where human life is so precarious that even the slightest miscalculation can bring disaster. The unforgiving environment of space is not just a challenge, it is a death sentence waiting for the smallest human error. Take the vacuum of space itself, exposure to it for mere seconds would cause catastrophic damage. The absence of atmospheric pressure leads to a condition called ebolism, where bodily fluids start to vaporize. The lungs collapse, the body swells and consciousness is lost in under 15 seconds. Even in the confines of a spacecraft or spacesuit, humans are 100% dependent on artificial systems to replicate the conditions of Earth. These systems, air circulation, temperature regulation and shielding from radiation, must function flawlessly and the smallest failure can mean instant death. Humans struggle and are unable to manufacture machines on Earth that don't require constant maintenance and repair. The thought that humans can create and build perfect, self-sustaining life support systems for a multi-decades-long interstellar voyage is a laughable premise. Radiation is one of the most insidious threats in space. Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere protect us from most cosmic rays, but beyond our planet, there is no such safeguard. Space is awash with high-energy particles from the sun and distant supernovae. Even short-term exposure, such as on a trip to Mars, could significantly increase the risk of cancer, cause neurological damage, and weaken the immune system. On interstellar journeys that could span centuries, radiation exposure would be lethal, unless we develop shielding far beyond our current capabilities. Lead or other heavy materials might provide some protection, but their weight would make interstellar spacecraft impractically heavy. The brutal reality is that space is inherently radioactive and our fragile biology is woefully unprepared to handle it. Then there is the challenge of time. Even at the fastest speeds achievable by our current technology, traveling to the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, would take over 73,000 years. In that time, entire civilizations could rise and fall on Earth. For humans to undertake such a journey, we would need to solve not only the problem of surviving in space, but also the sheer longevity required. Cryogenic sleep, a staple of science fiction, remains purely theoretical, with no indication that freezing and thawing a human body without irreparable damage is even possible. Generational ships, where multiple generations live and die during the voyage, face insurmountable sociological and logistical problems. How would such a society sustain itself for millennia? What happens if life support systems degrade or fail halfway through the journey? What about spare parts and ongoing maintenance issues? Space is unforgiving, and time only compounds its hostility. Human bodies are not just fragile, they are poorly adapted to life in microgravity. 
prolonged time in zero gravity causes muscles to atrophy and bones to lose density at alarming rates. Astronauts on the International Space Station must exercise for hours each day to mitigate these effects, but even with rigorous training, their bodies suffer significant deterioration. Over the course of years, these changes could render humans weak and frail, unable to function once they reach a destination. Gravity, a force we take for granted on Earth, is essential to our physical health. Without it, we are little more than bags of fluid and bone, slowly wasting away in the void. Food and water, basic necessities for survival, present another insurmountable challenge. On Earth, these resources are abundant and replenished by natural cycles. In space, every ounce of food and every drop of water must be carefully rationed and stored. Recycling systems like those on the International Space Station are limited in efficiency and prone to breaking down. Growing food in space, while a promising area of research, is still far from being able to sustain a large crew for decades or even centuries. The logistics of feeding and hydrating humans for interstellar travel would require perfect planning and execution, a feat that humanity has never been able to achieve on Earth, let alone in the harsh environment of space. Psychological factors further complicate the picture. Humans are social creatures, and isolation in the vast emptiness of space takes a toll on the mind. Astronauts on missions lasting months have reported feelings of loneliness, stress and depression, despite careful psychological screening and support. On an interstellar voyage, where the crew might spend decades confined to a ship, the mental strain would be immense. Cabin fever, interpersonal conflicts and the sheer monotony of space travel could lead to breakdowns, jeopardizing the mission. The human mind, like the body, is intricately tied to Earth's rhythms and environments. Prolonged separation from those familiar cues could have unpredictable and dangerous consequences. Even if humans managed to reach a distant exoplanet, the challenges would only intensify. No known planet is truly habitable for humans without significant terraforming, which could take centuries or millennia to achieve. Until then, humans would rely on artificial habitats, structures that must withstand alien weather, geological activity, and unknown biological threats. A single crack in a dome or failure in an air filtration system could wipe out an entire colony. Unlike Earth, which nurtures life, any other planet would be a perpetual fight for survival against an environment that offers no mercy. The sobering reality is that humans are intrinsically tied to Earth. We evolved for its specific conditions and are uniquely suited to thrive here. The universe, vast and wondrous as it is, was not made for us. It's a hostile expanse of radiation, vacuum and freezing temperatures where even the smallest error can spell doom. While technological advancements might one day make interstellar travel conceivable, they cannot change the fundamental truth. Humans are fragile, mortal creatures, and space is an unforgiving realm where life as we know it simply does not belong. Perhaps our fascination with interstellar travel reflects not a practical goal but a yearning to transcend the limits of our existence, a desire to defy the constraints of biology and mortality. But for now, and perhaps forever, the stars remain out of reach, a beautiful and unattainable dream. The cold, harsh realities of the universe are not just indifferent to biological life, but actively hostile to it. Earth, it's the only place in the universe where our fragile bodies can exist without the need for artificial life support to keep us alive. The dream of interstellar travel has captivated humanity for generations, fueled by science fiction and our insatiable curiosity about what lies beyond the stars. Yet for all our technological advances and lofty aspirations, there is an inescapable truth. The universe is not just indifferent to biological life, but outright lethal to it. We hope you enjoyed our look into space and human fragility, and I invite you back for our next episode 